okay I just felt that it's appropriate to quickly run a charging demonstration since we're on the topic anyway um, so I'm going to charge this lipo cell this is just a single cell um, 500 milliamp hour right so to do that I, I'm going to use the banana to uh, T connector and then the T connector to JST I'll then use um, get this JST to sorry it's not easy to do with one hand JST to JST on this end and on the other end of this so I've got that there and on this end of the cable I've got micro lossy connectors so I'm going to hook that up to this battery which is also uh, got a micro lossy connector there we go okay so I've already saved this battery's parameter in memory bank number five so let's just go ahead and recall it real quick but before we do that okay let's go to battery meter so as we can see it's got 4.1 volts so we can probably charge it up to 4.2 in battery memory so I know it's in bank number five, so I'm going to recall that. Okay, so obviously we don't need a balancing connector because it's a single cell, right? So if I press enter now, it's going to charge it at 300 milliamps, which is fine, and it's going to take it up to 4.2 volts, and then it's going to cut charging off. Um, and by the way, you can change the the terminal cutoff uh, voltage if you. Uh, say if, if you go into the memory bank you can edit that but obviously you should know the risk of doing that when dealing with lipo batteries okay so i'm going to press this enter button hold right so now it's telling me it's detected i've selected sorry i've told it this uh, one cell in series and it's detected one cell in series so it's just asking me to confirm that okay if i press enter now it's going to start charging the battery so let's do that again right now i'm going to press enter before it timed out obviously and it's got the number of values on the screen this tells you it's charging it's, that tells you it's charging lipo one cell that tells you the charge current so we're charging at 300 milli, uh, milliamps that's right that tells you the current battery voltage obviously that tells you the elapsed time now this bit here in the bottom right tells you the amount of um, energy that has gone out of the charger so far and into the battery so this tells you at the moment that two milliamp hour has gone into the battery, and now it's, it's and now we know three uh, three milliamp hour has gone into the battery. Um, of course, this doesn't tell you how much energy the battery has actually absorbed. So what you expect is um, with this battery that's rated at five hundred and twenty milliamp hour, you, you, the charging may complete. Um, assuming it's fully depleted then theoretically it will, will complete when this um, figure reaches much higher than that because obviously there's uh, efficiency losses and, and all that okay I'm going to end the video here thanks for watching